Yes, my friend, thank you for coming. Thank you for choosing us. You come to our clinic for the treatment of prostatitis. Yes. Uh, for chronic prostatitis, we have a special protocol, special technique that uh, we learned this from the Russian uh, medicine, Russian doctors. Actually, I then find out that also in old American system, prostate massage was, a, was the only treatment for these prostatic inflammations. But then, when new drugs came out, when new treatments, new methods, they forget about this treatment. But in Russia, they are still using it, and they improved the massage with the Russian instruments. There are some special instruments we use. So we are uh, recommending our patients to come to Turkey for this prostate massage. And we, we call them uh, first for three or four days of prostate massage. First day goes with the uh, investigation, examination of the patient, ultrasonography of the abdomen, prostate, liver, kidneys, everything, and sucrotal Doppler ultrasonography for the testicles. And uh, this is examination. And then we do some laboratory tests. We send samples if needed, or we do some dipstick analysis of the urine and the semen here for the infection. And then we do the first massage that day. Mm -hmm. Then for the second massage, second day, we use the Russian instruments. First day, I don't use these instruments because I want to see the bare uh, situation of the prostate without any heating. Mm -hmm. The Russian instruments heat the prostate. The next day we do with that. Mm -hmm. uh, they heat the prostate and they make it softer. We think like that. I will now ask you your uh, experience with our treatment. So with these symptoms, we treated you, and I know you are happy and you have some benefit from this. First of all, how all these things started? What was your symptom? How, how you understand that you have some problem and how you understand this is prostatitis? Uh, first of all, in my opinion, there, is a, there are three reasons why this illness is coming to men. Yes. One of them is bad psychology, stress. Yes. Second of all, stress very important. Yes. Second of all, uh, sex without condom. Yeah. And the third one is, uh, I was cold. Cold. Yes. So very important. Three reasons: stress plus sexual activities, unprotected sexual activities, plus cold. Sometimes I have some patients really no sexual activity, no suspected sexual activity. Only cold and stress makes this. Sometimes the patient say, I'm not a stressful man, just cold, mm -hmm. it may also make it. Just stress, make it, just sexual activity. But when they combine, that's why in Russia these methods are very well developed. Because in Russia is cold, Russia has vodka, Russia has too much sexual activity. So they have too many infections and they find how to treat this better than any country as far as I know now. So we learn from them. I really respect their uh, experience. Nowadays they are a little closed and people are looking for some other solution and we are performing this. So what was your symptoms? Uh, my symptoms were, was, uh, I think, everything. You had most of the symptoms related to this, uh, but if we have to say what were these, like did you have pain anywhere of your body? At the first time, only uh, in my peripheral uh, region uh, and yeah, this pelvic area. And pelvic you, you, area. You had this. And yeah. did you have testicle pain? Uh, not so much, but uh, when the time is passing, yeah. uh, it started uh, some pain in the uh, testicle area also. And you, this is our anatomy actually. Uh, Arjan, you may show this. Uh, this is the, you know. Pelvic area is this front part, mainly, this side, mm -hmm. and this is where the place you sit, we call it perineal area. Did you have perineal pain? Yes. But first, uh, I have pelvic uh, pain, but after that, uh, per perineal uh, pain. Perineal pain. Perineal okay. pain. Okay. Did you feel like sitting on a tennis ball or a ping pong ball? People sometimes describe this situation like we are like yeah. sitting on something sitting on a ball Some, did you have it sometimes most of the time uh, i got this pain actually i uh, had this pain two and a half years and 
uh, in the second year this ball that you mentioned yeah. about appeared. So you have the disease for two and a half years now. Yes. Your main complaint, as far as I remember, was the sexual life, sexual sexual life. Yeah. What was it? What what changes changed in your sexual life, sexual desire, desire or erectile quality? What was the change? Uh, erectile quality has changed drastically, and in my opinion. And I am not make it up in my brain. Uh, my uh, height of the penis uh, becoming small and really your size, penile size, does it decrease? Decrease. Yeah, many people have this concern. They say something is pulling my penis inside. That like it's going inside, going deeper, uh, like burying inside the uh, this pelvic area. So you your size has decreased, right? Yes. How was the morning erections? Never. Really? But before the disease you had this. How old are you now? I am right now 26 years old. Yeah, very young. If someone at 26 years of age, at this young age, has erectile problem, has desire problem, before saying psychological, please, you have to consider the prostatic inflammations. And also varicose cell disease. Varicose cell disease and prostate inflammation really has drastic effects on erectile quality and this disturbs the psychology, of course. So uh, you had erectile problem. Yes. You had morning lose of morning erections, mm -hmm. and most important, you had loss in your penis size. Uh, also, I lost my uh, eager to having sex. Yes, yes, yes. Desire has decreased, and the uh, size of the penis decreased. After the, our treatment, do you think you have some improvements in these subjects? Uh, I think it is the best decision in my life is coming to your clinic. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I am really appreciate about these uh, services that I acquired from you. Uh, most of the things is right now is really good. The, the erectile quality decrease changed? Change. It's, it's, it's better it, now? It is really better. It's Morning erections? Yeah, it, it came, it appeared, it came. Now, are you experiencing them regularly every morning? Yes, yes. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, actually, it's not surprising for me. This is what we are expecting. At this age, you can't destroy the uh, quality of erections, libido. You can't, you can't destroy it. If, if you are psychologically in a very, very low position, you lost your family member, you had some pressure on your job, pressure on your school. Okay, this is the thing. But if you are a normal person, it's not a psychological thing, losing erectile quality. So, uh, penis size, mm -hmm. this is really pulling off the penis inside with the correctness. How about your change in penis size? It, does it come back to normal? It is nearly come back to normal. Like I can say, like eighty percentage, it's come back normal. Yeah, but maybe hundred percentage. But actually, this may really show the healing ratio of yourself. Maybe you healed eighty percent now. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's an ongoing process. You will need some more sessions. So uh, these are very important. I want to mention our protocol quickly. So we call patients here for four days, maybe five days. Uh, so first day, we examine the patient, and second, and third, and fourth day, we use the Russian instruments, and also in first day. So we make, at average, three or four massages. Yes. This prostate massage. After three days, four days, we experience it is too much painful, too much distressful. How was your experience? How was your first three days? You, you, you had three days, right? Yeah, the, the first time uh, when I came to the Turkey, uh, three times uh, I got massage. Was it painful? Yes. <laughs> so helpful. So thank you for mentioning that. Sometimes people that I'm talking, they say, oh, no, not too much. No, it's painful. No, we know it. And we have to uh, be uh, make the people aware of it, mm -hmm. of course, before coming. So it was a little painful. What happened? How, when you have the feeling of you are getting some benefit from this? Uh, I got the benefits after the first session and uh, in the second session it increased and in the third session it's really increased. Yeah. Uh, it was really good. And after the third se three sessions you go back to England? Yes. And what happened there? Uh, how was the symptoms there? 
At the first week when I came back to England again, uh, the symptoms increased again, and I feel like uh, it's like uh, I never came here. So, okay, the first success, let's say the success, the benefit from uh, massages, you feel them, yes. and when you go back the first week, it was how much? Disappeared. About it? All disappeared. All of them. This, this, the problems disappeared or the benefit disappeared? Benefit disappeared. Okay, so it come back to normal. Yes. It, it come back to diseased state. Yes, yes. So that's why we are calling the patients back. Mm -hmm. uh, so, usually when they go back, maybe after the first day, if you say it count first day they are here, uh, a week goes well. Sometimes the second week also goes well. Then third week the symptoms come back, uh, and fourth week they are go back to zero level. Mm -hmm. So that's it's not the same in all patients. Sometimes some people say we are okay, but mostly like this. That's why we call the patient back for three days more or four days. So you will come here have a four day three day treatment, go back to your country and come back again one month later. Yes. This is the weakness of our treatment, but it is necessary. We can't drain the prostate in only one session, in three, four days. We have to repeat it. So you had the symptoms again, and you come back again yeah. one month later. Yes. And what happened? Did you have benefit again? Yeah, r right now I really feel the benefit. And after the uh, third session of the massage. Yeah, second coming. Yeah. Second coming. Yeah. Uh, when I came when I came back to England, uh, the benefits I still uh, it was still in my body. Yeah. Uh, and but after three weeks later, yeah. the illness uh, started to come yeah. come back again. Said hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hello. Okay. So after the second session, mm -hmm. I recommend to increase the length of the visits. Yeah. So. I recommend, if it is possible, wait for three months. But if not, you are feeling not uh, good enough, two, maybe one. Yes, so yes. everybody has to listen himself. And people ask me, hey, doctor, what are you saying? Do I have to come to Turkey three, four, five times for this disease? Yes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can do better. Uh, I, I really hope come here for a week, 15 days, and everything finish go to zero and never come back again. We are searching, we are trying to improve, but still we are not at this level. Mm -hmm. Now, at the level what we are, we can treat 80% of the patients. 20% yes. of the patients still have no benefit from prostate massage therapy. But they will understand it in the first session. They will understand if they will have benefit or not. If they don't have benefit, they are in the 20% group, I don't call back anyone, but if they are having some benefit, but it decreases and disappears when they go back home, that means they will have this benefit again. Mm -hmm. So they will have to come again, yes. and then in the future, increasing the periods, they have to come again, increasing the periods, they have to come again. In average, I think maybe three or four visits are necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, for some people, only one may be enough, but most of them, three, four sessions will be necessary. So if we talk overall, do you say this prostate massage plus Russian instruments plus we hear ozone treatment additionally, mm -hmm. did they benefit to you? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Is it worth coming to Turkey, traveling to Turkey for this? Yes. yes. Yeah. So do you recommend this to other people? All, yes, of course. Yeah. Thank you very much. So this is a still ongoing process. The patient, who I learned the Russians are doing this. He was traveling to that place, which actually he was traveling is in Moldova now, yearly. So he was saying, I have no symptoms, no trouble, but to be in the safe side, I will go there every year once uh, and do it. M my experience, I have thousands of men treated in Turkey, mm -hmm. and after some point it finishes. They don't have to come every every year, once a year. No, they are disappearing after some period. So you will heal at some point, mm -hmm. but where, until you are hundred percent sure that you healed, I will ask for repeated visits. This may be four or five times. I don't know. We will see. So overall, 
your main uh, concern was sexual problems. Yes. They are better now. They are much better. So yeah. much better. And you have some pelvic discomfort. Mm -hmm. It's better now. Just when you press, you said you have some feeling. And sometimes when I feel stress from the real life, I feel this pain again. But after the ten minutes later, it's disappearing. When cold in England, it's too much cold. In Istanbul, the climate is better. Yeah. When there is a cold wind, you are now facing some of the yes. problems. And your morning erections come back. Most important. Your penile shortening, penile pulling inside, mm -hmm. penile length, it's much better now. Yes. 80% of the old days. And uh, how can you say uh, average in approximately how many centimeters it was, how many centimeters you lose the length and how many centimeters you gain back again? Uh, with erection or without erection? Uh, let's say with erection. I can say three centimeters. You lost three centimeters, and now gain by two, two point five. What yeah, say? like that. Yeah. Like okay. That. This is a reality. For many years, doctors we said, ah, oh, it is impossible. That cannot happen. <laughs> Then, when I listen to my patients, I understand it is true. Uh, yeah. Then, after, because nobody will say I lost it after the treatment, it come back. Nobody will say this. So it is true. You are feeling this. I don't know why, maybe the prostate, I don't know. the prostate is here, you see the anatomy, the prostate is here and it is connected, connected to the penis, yes. so this is the inner side of the prostate, there are many ducts, inflammation here, inflammation here makes some kind of contraction in the muscles, yes. and they pull back the penis, that must be the reason. Mm -hmm. And when the penile uh, blood flow decreases, yeah, it's like it's a like sponge-like tissue, spongy tissue inside. When it is not fed enough, it may lose its capacity, its uh, lengthening uh, 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 capacity. So I think that's what's happening. The inflammation is uh, making less blood flow, contracting the muscles. Such things they affect the penile gland, and it is really. Uh, have too much benefit with this protocol. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for sharing your experiences and our protocol is really working nice. Mm -hmm. At least 80% of the patients really cured with this technique. It is difficult to travel to Turkey but Istanbul is a good touristic place. Yes. You will spend only half an hour here. At the first station, okay, it's longer but after that you will come to Kunit half an hour. You will have the massage and the protocol And you can go sightseeing. Mm -hmm. Istanbul is a good place for sightseeing. Yes. Uh, so Thanks I recommend. So Do you recommend? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.